we're in Madrid, which is the capital of Spain and our eighth city. We are getting pretty tired from running from attraction to attraction, so we decided to take it pretty easy and enjoy a truly Spanish lifestyle. We're waking up at eight, we're going to bed past midnight, and with a city of over 4.5 million population, we decided to not rush for tickets and just take it easy. So here's five free things that our kids enjoyed doing in Madrid. We spent an amazing afternoon in El Retirio Park. After connecting with another family visiting Madrid with kids, we explored the grounds together for several hours, starting near the waters of the Estanque Grande, where we got to find a few fish to feed while debating whether or not to rent a rowboat. We then went searching for playgrounds, which we found located throughout the park. Along the way, we encountered the Crystal Palace, found a slew of turtles nesting outside its ponds, and even got to view the pond from behind a mini waterfall. Of course, there was ice cream too, and a lot of time spent relaxing on the grass. The kids discovered that they could create their own world inside one of the trees, and it seemed like they would have willingly spent the night sleeping there. Residents of Madrid must love having such a great green space in the heart of the city. We're big fans of the free Sandman's walking tours, which are pay-what-you-can tours that are offered in a number of major cities throughout the world. Because the guides are paid by donation, they tend to really know their stuff, mixing in all of the important historical details with some great anecdotes. The free tour took us to a number of locations in downtown Madrid, including the world's oldest restaurant and the majestic Royal Palace. We had a great time on this free walking tour in Madrid. Even the kids enjoyed the sights, especially since they got to relax for most of the tour in the stroller. We hit some hot days in the city and were thankful that our guest-to-guest -guest accommodations were near to Madrid Rio, a large splash pad located along the Manzanares River that passes through the city. There are three separate splash pads with ample room for large crowds of kids and tons of space for them to run around. Meanwhile, we enjoyed an afternoon beer in the shade. There is a cafe located on site with bathrooms, but we brought our own snacks. This is an incredible way to spend a hot afternoon in Madrid. The Plaza Mayor serves as a central point in downtown Madrid and it's teeming with people. We saw several interesting buskers in the square and spent a lot of time hanging out and people watching. The surrounding streets are filled with activity and an afternoon spent walking around in downtown Madrid can be very entertaining. We even found a large group of people lined up to buy shoes and there we were thinking it was ice cream. We found several landmarks near the Plaza Mayor, including the Royal Palace of Madrid, the Plaza de Orient, and the San Miguel Market, and kept returning to the area every day we were in Madrid. The buildings are majestic and we really felt like we were experiencing the true beauty of the city here. Some days didn't come for free, and of course, like that day we discovered the candy shop. Many of the great museums in Madrid are free at some point during the week, usually on Sundays. The famous Museo de Prado is free between 6 and 8 p.m. on weeknights and between 5 and 7 p.m. on Sundays and holidays. We visited the Museo Seralbo, a residence built in the 19th century by the Marquis de Seralbo. Inside, we found an incredible collection of furniture and art, plus an amazing array of armaments. The kids were fascinated with the knight's armor, mistakenly believing it to be a spacesuit. Museo Sarabo was great for kids and adults. With so many free attractions, Madrid is a beautiful city that doesn't have to be hard in the wallet. We spent our days just exploring the sights and walking around and found that there was lots to see. Madrid is a great city for families with kids.